All right, now we're gonna prepare the tips of our bow to be finished. So what we've gotta do is measure an inch and a half from the end and mark it. That's where we're gonna to begin to taper our tips. It's gonna be kinda of like that, not that much of a taper, just a general guide. It's gonna be like that. And then our notches are going to go about there and there, just so you have kind of a visual aid. So I'll go ahead and do that the other end. All right, again, I've got it on my front steps, wedged in there so I can hold it with my left hand. And we're going to start with our coarse end of our 401 file, just to file this side down. around the edge here and then we're going to round the both edges of where we just filed also because wherever these strings are going you don't want any sharp edges that are going to fray your string you want everything to be rounded off nice And the back. And that's rounded enough. It's going to do the other side now. Okay, now we're ready for the notches. So, it's even with this half inch mark here. We're going to use our chainsaw file, which is this, and we're going to start our notch using our finger as a guide. you got to go gentle, otherwise it's going to slide all over the place. But once you get it started, though, you're good. And that's all you need. I'm going to flip it over using our eyes as a guide. going to be about there. Now before you get too far in, you flip it over, take a look at it, see if you think they're lined up. You can always adjust it by either forcing your pressure to the left as you file, or forcing pressure to the right. You can adjust where this is at. So I need to go to the right a little bit to make it even with the other one. Flip it over, let's check it. That's pretty good. So now we're gonna go in straight and finish that sucker up. You want these to be in far enough where it's um it's almost the whole the whole the whole way in. That's enough to hold our parachute cord we're gonna use for our string. Just gonna put this one in a hair more. So now all that's left on this end is we're going to use our fine grit sandpaper. We're going to fold it in half, fold it in half again. We're going to use this to get all of the all the rough stuff off. Make sure these edges are rounded, especially where that string is going to be in our notches. That's the critical spot. You don't want to free that string. But this is all super, super easy to do. I think with, with help of a parent, I think a lot of kids would be able to handle this project. We do, we'll do this project. Okay, so I'm gonna use this just to round these notches a little bit, just to do the major, major stuff. And on this side, just round the edge a little bit. Good. I'm just going to finish it with the sandpaper. So what I'll do now is I'll kind of fold this 
like that so it fits right in that notch and I'll run it through and then you go at an angle like that and you're good so that is it this end is ready to roll I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end and then we're going to work on the string so I've got this white parachute cord this is 550 parachute cord from the store and just make sure when you buy your parachute cord that it is 550 that means it holds 550 pounds very very useful cord to have and I use that on all my projects to make sure you have real parachute cord so our bow is 50 inches you want at least an extra foot so I'm going to cut this at 60 inches approximately we're going to have a little bit left over hopefully I'm just going to clip it by pushing with my knife there there it is you always make sure you melt the end so it doesn't fray and come apart on you. And that there should be enough because I'm probably going to trim it after anyway. And now we're ready to go. So, all we're going to do is tie a very simple knot on each end. It's the simplest bowstring you'll ever make. So get about four inches coming up on itself. And we're just going to Tie it in a simple loop. And you want the loop just barely big enough that it's going to fit over the end of this bow. So that's a little bit too big. It went on too easy. So we just tighten it up by just pulling a little bit more of it through. Piece of cake. Try that. It's still a little bit loose, but it's better. So we're on the right track here. We're getting there. So the idea is you want one end of the bow to have the string on there pretty permanently on there nice and tight and the other end to have a bigger loop. That way it can come on and off when you string the bow up because you never leave these bows strung. You always unstring them when you're done. And that's almost tight enough. Okay. So we've got it on this end. Now right now we're just going to guess at where the other one needs to be. I'm going to flip this bow around show you the other end here so this is how much we've got left over got about seven or eight inches left over so we want the loop to be my guess is probably we want it to be four inches or so from the tip of the bow maybe five inches so you're going to try to make the loop about here. Keep in mind, when once we actually tie it, it's going to tighten it up, make the string shorter. So we'll try it here for now. Same thing. Simple loop. Going to make it a little bit bigger of a loop this time. You don't want it too big, otherwise it'll slip off. And then we're going to try to string this for the first time in a second, see how it goes. Alright, so here's where we're at. Here's the bow. Keep in mind, the way this bends is where our where our markings are from our measurements is the part that is going to be facing you when you hold the bow. So it bends. Here's the marks up here. It bends this way. So we don't need to do any crazy, you know, step through it or whatever to string the bow. It's a very lightweight bow to string. It's not a hunting bow or anything. But we're just going to push down the center, pull the string up and over, hook it on, make sure that one's centered, make sure this is centered, and the first stringing, that's pretty darn good. I want to tighten it up a little bit. It should be almost to my thumb tip. A little bit shorter because it's a kid's bow, a little smaller bow. But look at the edges. You're gonna, this is called tillering. We're going to see how well they bend. And for not checking this, I didn't check this before I turned the video on at all. This is straight from the video I shot of us working on this bow here. It's my first time seeing it. It looks like this might bend a little more than this, but it's pretty even. And a bow this lightweight, you can just go like this and bend it a little bit more and that sometimes will even fix the problem without even using heat. So I'm going to unstring this. <clears throat> I'm going to tighten the string a little tiny bit, maybe a half inch to adjust it. Let's get that off of there. It's very, very easy to adjust these. So they're going to take the loop out 
and we're going to keep exactly where it was. Here's the part that was hanging off. Now we're just going to move the end point over about a half inch or so. We're going to retie our loop. Now let's see if this helped. Here we go. We'll try it again. Okay. That is where we want it. That's just about good. Okay. So, as long as both ends are bending pretty evenly, you don't want any spots where it's bending all one spot that's called a hinge. You don't want it bending too much near the handle. Um, because that can, that can break the bow. You don't want the tips to be bending too much of the tip. That's called a whip end. As long as they're bending pretty evenly, like if you look at, if you hold it here and at the tip, if you hold it like this, it should be pretty even. The tip bends a little more, it's okay. But this looks great. The only other thing you have to check and to look for is when you hold it this way, look at the handle and kind of close one eye, sight along that string. You want to make sure that the string when, where it passes the handle, that it's directly over the handle and not out to one side or the other. Uh, we can fix that with heat if it is doing that. But this one is almost perfect right off the bat. So I don't think this needs any adjusting. As far as I'm concerned, this sucker is ready to shoot. You can shoot this now. If you want to just be done, it can be done. You would trim the end of this off, uh, melt it like we did when we cut it. But I'm a perfectionist, so I like to paint these, make it look nice. So I want to take you through the process of painting and finishing this bow. It's very, very easy.